Hey everybody, Scott with Tango Down Production. Haven't done a video in a while, so tonight I got off work, had got a hold of a really cool little firearm, thought we'd do the video um, right back here on my gunsmithing bench, so let's get after it. So here it is. This is the Ortgies Work Erfurt. It's a German manufacturer, uh, commonly referred to this model of firearm as the, like the James Bond gun. Uh, I believe uh, Mr. James Bond carried these in some of the earlier series of the movies. Um, several were made by this manufacturer. There's the stamp on the wooden grip right there. It's on uh, it's clear on both sides. Um, they made these in 25 ACP, uh, 7.65 millimeter, or also known as 32 ACP, 380 auto, and the 9 millimeter parabellum. So those are the three that it uh, it comes in um, neat little firearm. A lady at work gave me this. Uh, not rightly sure where she got it from, uh, as far as from her. I know she got it from her mom, who got it from her dad. But from there, we I really don't know the back history on the gun. Um, I know they were used in World War II uh, by some of the Nazi parties, as well as some other organizations as well. Um, kind of an interesting little gun. There's the. Uh, let me get line up these iron sights. Where there's the iron sights right there. Um, this back here is the safety. Now I'm going to push this. I'm going to watch the back strap. So there you go. Maybe I can get a little better shot of that. So there you go. It pops out. So that would be that's your mechanical safety right there. So once it's in that mode, it won't fire. But the minute I get grip, bang, there it goes. So it's a striker fired pistol. Um, not extremely difficult to tear down. Very similar to the Walter PPK design. So you would pull back on the slide while pushing on the safety here so you would fire it so once it's been in the fired position push that pull back and then lift up there you go she comes apart real simple so there's your slide uh, with your striker and your striker plunger and spring right inside there if you can see that and then uh, here's your barrel and recoil spring barrel kind of interesting rotate it counterclockwise and boom there it goes it comes out and there it is pretty well field stripped right there um, something I learned I actually had to refinish this gun I had a lot of rust on it so FYI to anybody who decides to tear this down to armor's level um, right here on the side that's your trigger roll pin so once you punch that roll pin out your trigger comes out inside the trigger mechanism there's a small spring and a plunger okay that believe it or not <laughs> as small of a spring as that is it is actually somewhat conical shaped so you actually have to put it in a specific way if you don't and you reassemble it the striker won't engage on the trigger bar back here um, I had that problem so I I racked my brain thinking what the heck could be wrong I put it together right it looks like it's working well turns out I had that spring in backwards so anyway lesson learned there um, being an old firearm and very simple in design it wasn't once I took it back down to that level I knew where I found out where my problem was pretty quick so reassembly Again, pretty simple with one small exception. Inside here, there's a notch where the striker comes out. Inside there, there's like a little notch in the top of the slide. And when uh, you put your striker back in there, and your plunger's sitting there, you actually need a tool. And I just use a little punch here. And what you got to do is you got to push that plunger in and then push it down into that notch so that it stays in place right there like that. If you don't, um, putting it back together is going to be somewhat of a pain in the ass. And be careful with that because if you bump that or get too aggressive with this, it's going to come flying right out of there and then you're going to end up picking up a, trying to find a plunger and a spring. So anyway, then once you get the back into there, push that, drop it in, bang. There you go. Back into back in the uh, saddle again it's ready to go so anyway um, like I said I had this completely stripped down to armor's level re-blued it refinished it um, as old of a gun as it was I don't think the bluing really it was a cold blue by uh, Billy Birchwood Casey it didn't turn out real bad I think I put three coats top and bottom on it um, the grips um, I, there's a another video on YouTube that shows it better but inside the magazine well halfway down on the back strap here there's a little bar that you actually have to depress with a flat screwdriver or you just use an Allen wrench and depress it and then that's how you pop the grips off uh, otherwise these very very fragile grips will break and uh, you will end up having to repair those before putting them back on um, I won't be firing this unfortunately I'd really like to get some trigger time with this uh, this particular weapon had sat a long time and so there was some uh, rust pitting in the barrel and the bore 
uh, still had pretty decent rifling. Um, so I, I'm I'm confident that the head spacing and everything on this is just fine. It'll it'll shoot. Uh, outside of being in a gunfight in an elevator, though, I wouldn't really rely on it for uh, personal protection, just because again it is a 32 ACP. But uh, really, really neat little gun though. It really fits in the hand real well. Um, it's not real heavy, not real light. Um, it's got some weight to it for a 32, but I mean. You know, this is good solid, ger solid German engineering right here, man. This is good stuff. So, anyway, um, take care, you guys, and enjoy your weekend coming up. We have a gun show here in Denver. I'm going to try and go and pick up some things. Uh, maybe I get lucky I can drag my camcorder along and get some video footage. But anyway, uh, take care and be safe out there.